going to look at two PowerShell scripts that uh, look at what's in a what's in a folder, what's in a directory container, and sort of loop over it and ask questions. So here's the first one: um, the get child item command. is like DIR or LS. It shows you the what's in a uh, directory, a folder, and it is going to give you a set of sort of the objects. Uh, so you're gonna you're going to have uh, files or uh, subfolders, etc. If you don't specify any path, then it's going to be the sort of uh, the present work or current directory, the present working directory. Uh, I'm going to use a uh, for each type of loop. Um, the get child is producing a, an array of, of objects, items that are contained uh, in the directory. And I'm making up this dollar sign file is just sort of a dummy name in while well, I'm iterating through that uh, array of objects. And I called it dollar sign file, though it could be uh, could be dollar sign item, um, but I, I called it file, um, but it could be a folder or directory. So here's my for loop over those items that were generated by the command get child item. And I'm asking uh, dollar sign file dot uh, ps is container. So the ps is PowerShell and then this asks, gives me a Boolean asking true or false, is this a container? So that's going to tell me if it's a folder or not. And uh, so that if it was a folder, then I'm just uh, writing out, write host. Um, and host, uh, normal, write host normally goes to, is directed to the terminal. Uh, and I'm saying that it's a folder. And I'm specifying the file and the file length. And again, uh, this is an array of objects, and there are a bunch of properties. So there's length, there's attributes, there's creation time, there's extension and modes and attribute directory, a whole. All you have to do is sort of type dollar sign file dot, and you get a big long list of uh, properties and are available, and also some uh, methods as well. So I showed. I commented a lot of them out, but I did show you a bunch here. Um, so if it's PS is a container, that that's true. Then I said folder and a bunch of the attributes. Else I said here is the file, and then I showed commented out, but other possible things. So if I run that, it's just showing me here. I had a folder, my folder one which was a directory created on 324. Uh, the other things were files uh, created at different, different times and different dates. Okay, so that is that uh, get child item produces an array of objects. I'm using a for each to loop over the objects. Dollar sign file is my dummy name for the iterating. And I have a bunch of uh, properties. Uh, of those items, one of them is a Boolean ask telling me whether or not it's a container. And let me move on to the second script here. In the second script, I am creating an array, an array of strings. And in this case, they are uh, file extensions. So dot bat for a batch file, .com, .exe, .ps1. So I'm looking for sort of various sort of executables, scripts and executable things. Um, and I'm just writing out the uh, array, then I'm writing out uh, arrays have a count. So this will tell me that there are four of them. And then I am, once again, I'm using get child. This time I'm directing the get child to the uh, C colon slash Windows file. So this is going to not, not be my present working directory, but it's going to be directed towards Windows. And it's going to loop over the things it finds there. 
And uh, I guess one thing I should say about get child item is it does not necessarily look um, at hidden things, and uh, but you can make it do that by saying uh, by adding an option force, and it doesn't go into subdirectories and look at what's in subdirectories, but you can make it do that by adding the option recurse. So there you can get more out of get child item than I'm doing here. But uh, I've dressed it up slightly in that I've directed it to, with the minus path option, directed it to a different location. So find me the properties in this different location. I have not moved to that other location. I have just gotten, seen what items are in that other location. I'm using the for each to loop over them. And I am asking the question, if my array of file extensions contains the file extension. So if this property of uh, file.extension is one of the properties available for uh, of the, the objects that come out of get child item, and if you look at the, uh, the file extension, um, you'll see then it has the dot. So I needed this dot. This was, I wasn't gonna find any matches if I didn't have my array have the dots in them because this property also has the dot in it. But I'm asking if my array contains uh, the file extension of the item as I'm looping through. And if it does, then I'm printing it out. So I'm only going to print out uh, files in our .bat or .com or .exe or .ps1 that were contained in uh, the Windows folder. And they and I said that they were code, so that's just uh, and these were all uh, exes. I don't think there was anything else there, but those are the exes that are found in the windows. And again, I didn't do recurse, so it's not delving in deeper to any of the uh, subdirectories. I didn't do force, so if anything's hidden, it's not seeing that. But so I have other options available. So that's what I wanted to show you in this video. Thanks for your attention.